You already know that there is a war happening within you right now. And all the time, because evil tries to take power over your actions through your emotions. It is time now to fight back and regain the territory evil has stolen from you. Now you will retrieve your soul. Out of his divine justice, God has created in every one of us an angelic force. Only few people understand its vast capabilities and power. But those who do are the elite of all people. Let me introduce you to the most supreme force you possess. Yes, that's right. This is the essence of the Islamic concept self-struggle or self-jihad. It is the war between your conscience and your evil self, meaning it is the war between your mind and your negative emotions. Through self-struggle, you can conquer your worst enemy, because our world is in one filled with deceptions. You must allow your mind to rule you. We must never forget that satisfaction in life can only be achieved through self-mastery. The harder we restrain from evil temptations, the more powerful our minds become. Hence, the closer we get to God and heaven. Before you can quit sins and bad habits, it is important to understand its essence. Any addiction follows the same cycle that repeats itself with time. It starts by a trigger that sparks the temptation to practice the habit, then thoughts that turn the temptations into cravings once the addict starts craving. It would be extremely difficult to not act out. Once done, feelings of regret and pain overwhelms the addict. Keep in mind that it takes a human 40 days to fully quit any bad habit. Once you stop giving in to your emotions, the first few days can be horribly painful. However, you will be amazed by how easy it becomes with time. Now, you must be wondering how to quit. There are two important laws for the mind, if you understand them and use them to your benefit. You can diminish the power of sin over your actions. Law number one, your thoughts can become physical. The first law states that your body is the servant of your thoughts. Meaning, if you think of an evil action, your mind will expand on this thought. So what you feel all depends on what you think about. Thinking about sexual content brings sexual desires. Thinking about how harsh people were to you brings hate and anger. There are thousands upon thousands of thoughts presented to you every day. If your mind is used to operate freely and ruled by wrong thoughts, then your actions and attitude will be based on those thoughts. On the other hand, if you make a decision right now to purposely think about what brings you closer to God, slowly you can develop the habit of good thinking and your cravings for bad habits will amazingly start to fade away. Law number two, you are what you believe you are. Your behavior is the servant of your beliefs. If you want to quit your addictive sins, you must believe that you can. If you try to conquer an enemy while your beliefs and words are filled with doubts, then you're not ready for victory. No matter how many times you failed, always believe that this time is different. You must believe that God is with you, and you must believe that power comes from Him, and He will help you, and be sure that what God says about you and your life is the only real truth. Once you really comprehend the laws taught, then you can apply three simple steps that will aid you to quit a bad habit. The first step is to identify your bad habit and choose a good habit to replace it with. The second step is to make a decision right here, right now, that from this point onwards, 
you will strive in the way to God and force your conscience to rule your anger and desires. Thirdly, stay as far as possible from your bad habit, even with your thoughts. Whenever you get triggered to perform the habit, don't fight it. Take a deep breath, accept, and absorb the lure. Choose to think of a different thought, and then perform your new good habit. You see, all wars in life come and go. However, the war in the soul will never end. So be prepared mentally and physically to be the master of yourself, not the slave of its commands. I encourage you to feed yourself with moral actions and thoughts that promote your good side. No matter how tempting things get, be sure all it takes is 40 days of commitment and pain tolerance. Once you start to turn your back on what's easy and comfortable, it is only then that you take the first step to glory. Never give up. Well,